Hey friends, it's Brian here. So this is the third video in my HVAC replacement series. And if you're enjoying these videos, remember to like, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. So I'm gonna start uninstalling the air handler and the condenser outside because I gotta replace the system. You wanna find out why? Watch video one. Um, and frankly, Goodman is good for nothing, man. Not very efficient, okay build, not very well designed, and Dakin can go to hell because they're just evil. Um, at any rate, so I'm gonna be taking this system out and because it's getting replaced. Uh, the control board in here has a uh, comfort net, um, failure. So the communicating side, which is involved with the variable speed fan is dead. And the compressor died uh, about two weeks ago. Again, watch video one if you wanna know what happened. So rather than put, uh, you know, two and a half to three thousand dollars into repairing the system only to have crappy efficiency i'm replacing it for just a little bit more um, and i'm going to get started with the in removal and the first thing is i got to go turn off the power to this unit and the outside unit and then i'm going to cut the outside unit out okay so even though the power is off i've gone ahead and pulled the disconnect because that's important this is part of the emergency repairs after the comfort net died. It's going to get reworked, so I'll screw with it later. It doesn't matter that it looks like crap at the moment. Let me find a place to mount this camera, and let's get busy. So when I put the camera out, or when I put the unit out here, I was originally afraid that it would get stolen. Um, so I anchored it, and unfortunately these fasteners aren't the best. Wow, that's two for two that they just broke off. I really didn't expect them to break off like that. Um, I would have expected those to withdraw, not, not to just break off. So these are hurricane clips and I just figured they'd make this unit really hard to steal. Well, that one came out. Oh, I can't get the other one to come off, so I'll deal with it later. <sighs> so when I converted to um, legacy i had to add a transformer to this system not a big deal there's the new capacitor that was involved in the blowout um and at this point what i need quite frankly a pair of wire cutters because i can't salvage any of this i mean i like none of it i can't even reuse the wire i can't reuse this uh the new system was supposed to be rated for 30 amps and it actually requires a 42 42 amp circuit so i've got to i've got to run a new new wire for that and upgrade this to a 50 amp circuit so let me go get a pair of wire cutters and we'll just make short work out of this i'm gonna go ahead and just undo this because i don't see I, you know the cheap ass in me thinks there might be some value left in the whip although i can't think of anything to use it for right now there's no point in throwing it away or shortening it oh it looks like i might have shortened it already Normally you don't have to hit these quite so much, but this one's sticking. This I'm gonna go ahead and cut because I don't see I don't see these being reused. 
one of them is two wire for the communicating system and the other is a six wire for the legacy system. Now we're gonna go ahead and, again, this has already lost its refrigerant. So at this point, uh, I gotta get a pair of pliers. I'll be right back. So I think I said pair of pliers. What I really meant was a knife to get this. I'm just gonna remove all this insulation. It is weathered out. At the time I put it in, I didn't know that it required a UV protector, so it didn't get one. Now, a good set of cutters will go a long way in doing what needs to be done on one of these systems. So I'm gonna try and preserve as much of this tubing as possible, which is gonna be a little bit difficult because I'm really tight in here. Yeah, I think I can do it there. Now we're gonna find out there shouldn't be anything in here because it, it, it completely leaked down two weeks ago on me. Yep, nothing in there. So we'll just push that off to the side. Okay, so we've got two things to do um, with this. We need to deburr this. That's good enough. All right, and then I think this system should be free at this point, so let me go get a dolly and I'm gonna haul it out of here. Before I do, I'm gonna put this cover on. I'm planning to pull the salvageable parts out of this and sell them. So the control board's worth something, the fan's worth something, and the coil might be worth something. I mean, the coil is worth something. I just don't know if anybody really is gonna buy a used coil. Um, Whatever I can get out of it will defray my costs. And that'd be a good thing. So we'll see if this is enough. Um, I'm gonna strap it because there's just me and it weighs a bunch. the hell mm, there's a knot why does that not surprise me let me see if I can fix this no Yeah, that ain't gonna be long enough. Let me go find one that is. I'll be back. This will certainly be long enough. Um, it's actually a little too long.
Now we're not trying to crush anything here. We just want to get it. We want it to stay on the dolly. Actually, We're not going very far, so I'm just gonna tuck it like that. And it should. Oh, it's a lot heavier than I remember it. And I mean a lot heavier. I don't remember it being that heavy. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, I need to strap it from the other side. All the weight's over there. with the compressor in the middle it wouldn't be but it is All right, let's see if it'll roll this way. Yes, it will. All right. Because there's just one of me, I don't want this to jump and hurt me or overwhelm me. So, hopefully, we can keep this from becoming a shit show. I swear I don't remember this being this heavy seven years ago. That got heavy. So, next, we're going to start uninstalling this. Well, and first, we need to gather all the little bits that are in here and clear space. I really need a trash can up here, but that's not a right now project.
All right. Pretty safe to say this can go. Oh, looky there, it's the original manual. Something you don't always see. So, might as well cut that there. Um, and then I gotta cut this and disconnect the wiring. So that's gonna be my next project, is I'll open up this panel and get the wiring out. So let me go get the tools for that. All right, so I've got a fan blowing on me because it's warm up here. Um, and what we want to do is I'm going to cut this in the middle between these two things. That makes it easy for me to uh, reattach this. And then I'm going to just cut this here. And what I'm doing is salvaging this uh, trap. It's got some water in it. Let me go get rid of that before it goes somewhere I'm not supposed to. So these are Harbor Freight's finest zip ties. They are $1.99 a pack on sale, and they work just as well as the expensive ones that you might get at the big box store or some other exciting place. Yeah, I got a little bit of crud in my throat. Uh, I have exercise-induced asthma, and it is what it is. Kids getting, getting old is not all it's cracked up to be, but it beats the alternative because being in a box six feet underground or being turned into ashes is really not any better. So make every day your best day and live your life for you because ain't nobody gonna fight your problems for you if you don't fight them for yourself. And we got a little reusable portable trash can that we will put to good use. One of the things that's really nice about having a spray foam house is generally don't have a lot of dust, don't have any bugs, and don't have shit in the attic. So got a little bit more remedial work here. I'm gonna, there's, these are uh, jam nutted, so basically have two, two nuts and in this particular case 
they're being a real bugger. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing them do this. There we go. So the way this works is one nut is tightened against the other. And it prevents the uh, other, it prevents both nuts from moving. Now, in case you're wondering, the reason I've suspended it from the rafters is it transmits whatever little vibrations come off the HVAC unit or the air handler, they get transmitted up to the roof where they're generally they dissipate and you don't hear them. If you put it here, the vibrations go into the ceiling and you have a higher chance of hearing them. And that can be annoying. Um, so, I'm gonna grab my driver here. Let's do it to it. You know, there are only a couple things I regret about this system and its install. One of the things I really regret is I didn't run conduit for the electrical for both units. That was stupid. Another thing that I really regret is I didn't run conduit to the thermostat. And I did end up running this, but I should have run that in the wall. That was just stupid to, for me to think this unit would last forever. But when you put a house together, that's kind of the, that's, that's kind of the space you operate from. You don't think your work is gonna wear out. But it does. So next what we need is a screwdriver and we're just gonna come in here and undo the incoming wires. Got an excessive amount of dust in here so we had a leak somewhere in the air. Uh, what I'm hoping is that the heat kit and the, I'm hoping the heat kit the control board and legacy only, the fan and the coil have some residual value. And remember, this is a removal, not a repair. So the goal here is to get this thing the hell out of here sooner than later. Now, in the case of this, yeah, that's not gonna come out of here. It'd be nice if it did. Well, maybe it is part of the heat kit. Yeah, it is. So let me see if I can get that. Now, in case you're wondering, why is he taking the heat kit out? Every pound I can take out of this makes this easier to get out of here. I gotta go get an extension to get that screw. And there's one more screw here. Might be, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So there's our 5KW heat strip. Looks to be in pretty good shape. A lot of dust on that breaker. Uh, there should not be that much dust. That means there was an air leak somewhere in this neighborhood pulling it, unfiltered air in. All right, let me get this out of the way.
All right, so. There is more than one way to skin the cat. So one of the things you should do if you're taking something like this apart is put the wire nut back on immediately. Otherwise you will lose it and have to go buy another one. All right, so now we got to deal with this. And I want to preserve as much tubing as possible. so. The only thing that makes any sense to me is to cut it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will cut those with a tubing cutter later. The objective right now is to uninstall the unit. So next, we need to break the plenum loose. While destroying as little of it as possible. Even though I'm pretty sure it has to be rebuilt. Yeah, it does. we will pay the price for having done it this way. I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar or two for that, so I don't want to destroy it by dropping the system on it.
All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera off and move it while I manhandle this out of here. So one of my roommates left me this nice chair guard and really it doesn't matter what you use. I'm just using it something. Cardboard works really well like the cardboard the system comes in. I'm just trying to protect the carpet from getting destroyed by the air handler. A little effort goes a long ways. Uh, speaking of which, let me go get gloves. I'll be right back. There really aren't any pieces on an air handler that aren't sharp, at least not that you're gonna grab. So, I'm wearing gloves. What a mess. All right. I have a little bit of a conundrum, but I think I can solve it. So I had a stair that, or a shelf that was in the way. And even then, this is only gonna barely fit. I've got issues with the air filter on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to squeeze through here and undo that or it isn't coming out. And I should have remembered, this was a tight squeeze when it went in here. Right, that ain't coming out. Well, pretty sure this is a bad idea, but it's going to happen anyway.
Yep, that's a bad idea. All right, at least I can crawl over it now. I did a really good job of sealing this. Such a good job that now I don't know if I can get it off without a hammer. And I was... Well, it might be screwed on the inside too. All right, smaller bit. Let me go get it. All right. Again, kids, getting old sucks. So what we're dealing with in here is this thing is really well attached, as it should be. Grab my gloves. Because remember, air conditioning is the land of sharp objects. All of which are out to get you. So I'm going to cut this loose on the back side. And then we've just got to work on the flange sides, which are here. So let me figure out how this is attached. It looks like it might just be Well, I know that these are attached. With bolt screws. This would have been a lot easier earlier. But it is what it is. The middle of the doorway blocking exit is a great place to do it. So there's probably one down here. There it is. And then I've got some on the bottom.
which I can't see. Let me just see if I can rip it off. feel like fighting with this. There we go. Believe it or not, that is still salvageable. Now let's get this out of here. But first, we've got to get this screw, or this plug off here. Forgot to do this earlier. Because that's gonna block us from getting out. Everything on an air handler is made out of razor blades. You may laugh at that comment, but just trust me. That thing is sharp, 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 sharp. And it should just slide out of here. All right. So next, we're going to slide this out of here. That sucks. It's going to take two people, or a dolly, or a dolly and two people, but it ain't going nowhere right now. So what we can do is break this down a little bit. Because remember, this is either going to recycling or it's being parted out. And removing all this stuff makes it lighter. There's a good 10 pounds right there. Wow, it's a big coil. Surprisingly, this is one of the things they seem to have really gotten right. I didn't have a lick of trouble out of this coil. And that's something that people complain about on a regular basis. <clears throat> it's interesting that there's some fin damage in here because I've never pulled this coil out. I've never even looked in here. And I wouldn't expect to find any kind of damage whatsoever. The next thing I'm going to do is pull the fan out. And to do that, I got to figure out how it's wired in here. The fan and the coil are the two things that really have value in this system. 
because this is a variable speed fan, they're expensive. So we're just gonna disconnect it and then we're trying to unscrew it. And I think it's just a couple of screws here that hold it in. They sure do love their sheet metal screws. And I do recommend wearing your gloves when anytime you're inside these boxes because they are sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. There ain't a single piece on these things that is not sharp. Now I'm gonna step in here to lift this. Well, it's moderately dirty. It certainly could use being cleaned. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the stripping of this because there's only one more thing in here that has any value whatsoever, and that's this board. And it's riding on a little carrier, so I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the little carrier and pull it right on out. And then everything else is scrap metal, at least as far as I'm concerned. All right, and a screw on this side. It's pretty fascinating how this all strips down so fast. You know, I suspect it's all made on mostly automated equipment. It is made in Houston. One of my neighbors used to work for these guys and he was a nice guy. I think they're good people. I think, uh, the company as a whole does okay. It's a lot of builders used to use them. Um, you know, the problem is they just don't, they don't spend the time on the robustness in my opinion. I mean, the failure on this board, this board should not have failed. The network shouldn't have burned out from a, from a, a surge, but it did. All right, let me see what we're left with weight wise. Oh yeah, that's, that's light enough that I can handle it. Let me get my dolly and I'll wheel this piece of crap the hell out of here. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's another way I could do this. Maybe this way? That might work. Let me see if I can slide it out. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to carry these down. Right back. All right, with the equipment taken out, this is much lighter. So I'm gonna do this from the other side. I'll be back in a minute. Before I haul this down, I just want to show, look how absolutely clean this coil is. Yeah, there's a little bit of rust condensate at the bottom of it. I'll show you that in a second. But this coil is spotless. I mean, they just don't get any cleaner than this. And I've never cleaned this coil. I've never had a technician come and mess with it. So that just says that the media filters really do work. I mean, you can see, yeah, okay, there's some, rust in here, but who cares? The coil itself is spotless. And uh, that really, that's really uh, makes me very happy after, uh, you know, seven years of use. 
All right, so I got a little cleanup to do there, but this is out and that sets the way for me to do remediation on the thermostat wiring and the copper tubing. So I'm gonna mess with the copper tubing now. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and just recut this, try to cut as little off here as possible, but I wanna be left with a clean end. So it's really just that simple. And that saves me a couple inches of this material. Now I realize I could have unbrazed it, but this is quicker and simpler for me. And I don't have to break out my brazing rig and I don't have to mess with, I, I really don't like to have any more fire inside the foam attic than I absolutely have to. go so that gives us a nice clean cut and we'll come in here and deburr this and that's all we got to do so that's kind of it for today thanks for watching i hope you found this useful and entertaining uh let me know what you think in the comments below and uh i'll get after the next piece of this project shortly that'll be another video